In this video, I'll show you how to add your very own information icon to your dashboard that allows users to hover over and gain additional information of how to interact with this dashboard just by hovering over. Let's download an information icon image that we can use. So now that we're in Google, let's search for information icon PNG. And feel free to pick your favorite information icon. I'll go with this one right here. And I'll simply right click, save the image. And now we have to bring this image into our Tableau shapes folder. So this is different from this image up here where it's, this is just a straight image. However, we're adding an image that we actually need to interact with. So let's add the information icon image into our Tableau shapes folder, which is a folder on your computer. If you're using a Mac, your Tableau shapes folder will be under documents, my Tableau repository, shapes, and then inside of the shapes folder, you have these various categories for shapes. These are all pre-delivered by Tableau, but we can just go ahead and create a brand new folder. I'll just make sure this is inside of the shapes directory. And I'll call this info icon. And now I'll go to my downloads folder and I'll just move my information icon PNG file right into my info icon folder. And now this allows us to actually leverage this information icon as a Tableau shape. So let's go back into Tableau. And if you're using a Windows PC, your shapes folder will also be in your documents and subsequently the My Tableau repository folder. Relatively similar as far as the folder structure goes. So now let's actually create our shape. We'll create a new sheet and we'll call this D1 because it's tied to our dashboard one space hyphen info icon. And just make sure you're using the same data source for consistency sake. And we'll just add a number of records by double clicking. And this is just so we have something to write out to our canvas. We're, we don't really care about the number of records. We'll simply be overriding this with a shape. So now I'll click on the mark drop down and change this from automatic to shape. By default, Tableau has assigned this shape. If you click on the shapes square right here, you have all these shapes you can choose from. But we don't want that. We want to use the information icon that we just downloaded and loaded into our Tableau Shapes folder. Click on More Shapes. And here we have the Select Shape Palette. On that drop down, you can see all those folders within the My Tableau Repository Shapes directory. But we don't see the information icon one. Interesting. Click on Reload Shapes. And there it is. Now we have our info icon. If we click on the info icon and actually click on it now and choose Assign Palette, Apply. And if for any reason your shape does not show up properly, just go ahead and click on it once more and choose Apply. And that should adjust and apply, hit OK. Now we have our info icon that's floating up here as the mark label essentially. So now if we remove number of records, we still have our information icon. So all we have to do now is edit our tooltip. And this is gonna be the hover over text that users will see as they simply mouse over the information icon. So let's add a bit of text here. So I just placed some text here. 
I titled it, so the financial overview dashboard. I indicated the filter behavior. So each filter on this dashboard updates all charts simultaneously. And then put some detail here. So charts, each chart on this dashboard is sourcing data from our retail sales data source. And I'll hit OK. And watch what happens as I hover over. The tooltip gets activated and we can view the text. And as soon as we mouse off, the text disappears. So this is a great way to store a, a whole boatload of text that gives detail on how to use the dashboard, how certain filters behave, and also to ensure that you're perhaps defining acronyms, adding extra context, so users can get the most out of your dashboard. And now let's just drag in a measure just to make sure that there's no disconnect between this sheet and our source. Because right now we just have filter values being displayed. So as I drag in number of records at this point in time, just on the marks card, you see how the shape has resized. So let's go ahead and just remove the title by right clicking, hide title, and now we'll make this shape a little bit bigger. And you can do that by stretching. And it might be difficult to find the lines around the box as they're transparent, downward, and we'll keep dragging out. And you can also update the size. And that looks like a great size for us. And now if we navigate back to our dashboard, we'll click and drag our D1 info icon onto our dashboard. We'll make sure that we're doing a fit entire view. So now we have a huge icon. So let's change that. We'll make sure this title is being hidden as well. And now we'll simply resize this and we'll place this right in the top right of our dashboard. Now when users hover over, they get a quick glance at exactly what's going on with this dashboard and you could add acronym definitions, perhaps the author information, who to contact if you have any questions on this dashboard and it really gives the ability to share and have an open dialogue inside of this easily accessible hover over tooltip that is leveraging a Tableau shape in order to use the tooltip functionality that you're seeing as you hover over. You can't do that with just static images like this. You need to convert it to a shape. And that's why we dragged our information icon into the shapes folder. In our next exercise, I'll show you how to exclude data until you actually click on something. Let's move on to the next unit.